do something while I do that. What do you, what do you want me to put well, it on? Well, can you, while you're still here, yeah, go to go to podcast topics. And um, so, Sean, what do you think about Denki? You know, that filler anime only character, Denki, who's only in the anime and not the manga. What do you think about him? Me personally, I think he's a character in the aspect of like, of the technology wise. Uh, okay. So, what would you say if I told you that Denki's canon now? Oh, for real? <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. I hate the fact you're going upstairs if you haven't clicked on it. I haven't actually looked. Okay, cool. You did. Okay, so yeah. No, it's on Conway's. So, Denki is canon now. Shout out to Invincible for finding this. Um, in fact, I think he's been canon for a while and nobody knew. This isn't like. I forget exactly what Invincible said this was. Boruto. Data book volume set 11, something or the other. And so it confirms Denki's existence in kind of the same way that Sumire and Nue exist in the manga, because centering like Sumire's like weapon kit or whatever includes a description including Nue or whatever, which is referencing the anime stuff in the manga. So because Denki is mentioned to be one of Boruto's classmates from Volume 11's data book set thing, Denki is canon to the manga. He's in the manga's existence, the manga's continuity. I almost, I don't know for sure, but I almost want to say like a while back, there was like a thing saying like Denki and Obabe were canon or something. I don't remember what it was, but there was like, I feel like, like this is probably on like a Naruto Explain video or something. Like, I feel like that happened. I don't know. Well, I can't zoom in to see it on my phone. So, Sean, if you want to be the one to read this, go for it. I'm too far away oh, oh. to see a screen, so I can't. Okay. Sean, can you read the thing? <laughs> Uh, oh, the, the the first part or the, the second part? Uh, whichever you feel is best. Yes. Uh, near future. Ninjutsu, that metal with complete networks and ninja who can manipulate electronic devices are likely to emerge. Or perhaps they already exist. What? Mm -hmm. right, so this is ninja updated. This is a tool updating using the latest science and technology. For example, Kula and I made a <clears throat> uh, super enhanced high heat retaining and stab resistant combat work. Oh, it's kind of smart if you see it. Only nanometer, high strength wire, miniaturized communicators, and remote control drone weapons. More broadly, my vehicles and computers will probably also fall under his, under his category. The point of Shinobi, our exposed in such high tech ninja tool, has grown greater and greater in recent years. Maybe in this Shinobi who are weak as Ninjutsu, Taijutsu, and Ginjutsu, but top notch in science and technology, such as Barsu the contemporary. Can they come? Can they come? And just like many of the ninja accessory ninja, they're becoming an invisible part of ninja squad. The thing I love about this most is the fact that like, oh, Rock Lee, he was bad at ninjutsu and genjutsu. So he's gonna make up for it by being a, a splendid ninja at taijutsu. I like the idea that there's just a Rock Lee out there who's also just bad at taijutsu and that just is Denki. So he's being a ninja through scientific ninja detection. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you thought a fight between him and the, the swordsman? And the. the mm -hmm. there? He's not even a bad ninja, yeah. Like. <laughs> like, he got a speed blitz, Tsubaki. Yeah, like, he surprised her because he could do ninjutsu at a high level on his own, too. So, he's not even, like, the Rock Lou's bad at Taijutsu. Yeah. <laughs> so, my only thing about this is, for one, I hate the idea of them confirming his canon here first and then the manga second. Why would you not? Like, 
<laughs> I, I don't like that. Or, it's second. We're here first in the manga, not at all. Yeah, exactly. And that was going to be the next thing is if they're going to do this, I'm fine as long as Denki becomes an actual character. And I don't mean like he is in the background for one panel. I mean like he's a genuine character, matters to the story. Then fine, by all means, do all this data book shit with him. If he's not going to debut actually, and he's going to even appear in the manga, or even if it's the one background panel situation, don't even do this data book shit. Like, why are you doing that if they're not going to be relevant? <laughs> Like, what's the point? It's almost like they're just trying so hard to be like, see, the anime is canon. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Oh, what do you mean? He's debuting in the manga right here. That's the, the manga. back of volume 11. Oh, well, that's in the volume. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's so weird. So, in the back of the volume, they're talking about Denki. You know what's even dumber about this is the scientific ninja tech isn't even important in two blue vortex. It's <laughs> such a weird time. Like, the time to do that would have been in, like, the out arc, wouldn't it? I don't know. Well, maybe volume 11 is the out arc. Uh oh. Oh, is There's it the... No way it's the hour. <laughs> yeah, volume 11 of part one. I don't think that would be... No, it's Jan's bro. We're probably on volume 11 now. Including two blue boards. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, actually, volume 20, I think, is end of part one. So, like, this, yeah, 11's got to be, like, the Jigen fight or something. <laughs> yeah, bro, like, chapter 11 is the Mujina Bandits, and Alwark is, like, a few chapters later. <laughs> so it's probably, like, volume three or four. Each chapter's a volume. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, why didn't they do this during the hour? <laughs> like seriously, that's like a lot of time to do that, isn't it? Not? Okay, thankfully I'm back home, as sweaty as I am after my shower, after that stupid walk. So I'm gonna jump back on my computer so I can sound good, and hopefully yeah. it, it works this time. So. Do you think Denki will actually appear in the manga, having seen the data book scan here? Or do you think he'll still never appear? I mean, I, I really did genuinely like Free Game's fake scan of time skip design Denki. The problem with that would be it's not a time skip design if it's his debut to the manga. <laughs> That's just his design. <laughs> but, to, all right, I'm going to ask this in stages, but the first stage, because I'm going to go ahead and say right now, there's like a 0.5% chance that Denki becomes like a major character, of like a Sarada or Hibawari or Kawaki or whatever, right? We can pretty much rule that out. Yeah. Realistically, dude's not going to be any more important than Eno, Gene, and Jojo. Like, at the max. So, we can just rule out anything beyond that. So, the first question is, will he ever even just be drawn in the manga? A still frame image, even. He'll be in the montage on the final chapter. I am pretty sure of Think that. Think anything beyond that, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay. I can definitely I see it, honestly. You know, that would be like the perfect spite for us. See, he was canon. That's why we made the data book for him. He's in the final <laughs> chapter. See, he's in the manga. He's right there. <laughs> see, he's right next to the credits. The <laughs> right next to the credits as well. Yeah, like in, in the okay, um, um, the montage of saving Sasuke and Naruto, they'll just be Denki smiling. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I could imagine whatever the darkest outcome future thing that Boruto's talking about, worst possible future for everyone. I could imagine if that comes to pass and it's like an eclipsing event, it, they could show Denki and a panel of like 
400 people looking up in shock and like dismay of the shrouding cloud of darkness of 10,000 years passing over or whatever the darkest future is going to be. They'll be looking up in the sky like basically Kikashi, like modern as me. Meteor and Naruto the last. Those will be all of them looking up. Or like uh, the infinite Tsukuyomi when they're all looking up exactly, in the sky. Exactly, something like that. I was thinking something like the fourth great ninja army or whatever, looking up at Madara's meteor. Yeah. <laughs> That's a time to introduce Denki. <laughs> they introduce all Especially four of Especially if he's going to be just for that scene. Where everyone saved at the end. <laughs> <laughs> and then they never appear again. Bro, I could just imagine Boruto Twitter exploding. Not because of what happened, but because of Denki's introduction. <laughs> I could also see um, a random scene where, like, it'll be kind of like when the, all the Konoha 12 fight the Ten Tails. Or, or like, when the uh, old generation fights Ishiki. Would they just randomly throw in all Portugal's class versus like Jura or something just to get bodied? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> Similar to what they did in the anime with just throwing in the old gen versus Ishiki. Exactly. And it's like, it's not a fight, <laughs> but they did it, fight. It doesn't mean anything to the manga readers who are like, who the fuck's Denki? How strong is Denki? We don't know. <laughs> like, we haven't seen this dude. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's so funny. Yeah. Um, do you think other characters will be canon? In fact, um, uh, before I get to next. like Iwabe <laughs> or any of them, well, I know I was gonna go to Shinky, who already has more than one panel <laughs> in the manga. He has three, I believe. <laughs> Do you think he'll play a role in the manga? <laughs> no, bro. They ain't playing a role before <laughs> Gara gets a freaking FaceTime call from Shikamaru telling him that Naruto just went sealed. Until we see that, Shiki ain't doing shit. <laughs> <laughs> but does Gara bro, even, even become know the villain Shikamaru's again and they won't even give right a now? Sakura? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, bro. The, the world just doesn't know Nar 